Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Review. Today I am going to show you the review for Cataclysm ROM for Nexus 5. Now I am running the latest build of Cataclysm ROM which is released on 4th of January. Now firstly I am going to show you the Android version provided by this ROM. As this ROM is built on stock image of Nexus 5, you can see the Android version provided by this ROM is 5.0.1. Now the customization provided by this ROM can be seen on the setting tabs called Cataclysm setting. Now there is a separate tab for that. The first customization provided is Quick Toggle. You can choose whatever Quick Toggle you want from among these options. The second method is Rearrange. You can rearrange your Quick Toggles as per your requirement. Then third is Quick Pull Down. You can enable Quick Pull Down from left hand side or from right hand side as per your opinion. Now you can scale your quick toggles, so you can vary their columns or their scaling factors. The next one is lock screen options. Now you can change the default lock screen options of left hand side and right hand side. You can choose any app you want from your loaded app as you can see. So it is a cool feature. Then you can use black and white icons on your lock screen. Then you can use custom wallpaper for your lock screen. Then you can allow rotation on your rock skin from landscape to portrait that's also a cool feature the next one is in call blocker in that thing you can block unwanted call or unknown calls then next is smart radio the smart radio can arrange your wi-fi and mobile radio in such a manner that it will save your battery so it's a cool thing and it will improvise your battery the next one is resize your navigation bar. You can resize your navigation bar as per, as per your opinion. As you can see, now the bar is smaller. The next one is animation speed. You can customize your animation speed. As you can see, I have kept it on 0.5. So my animation are quick, more quicker than the default one. The next one is AM PM clock style. You can choose AM PM clock style on your status bar. The next one is app oops. Under app oops, you can choose per permission to the apps to access your personal information. Then miscellaneous tweaks. From this there are a bunch of options you can choose as per your requirement. As you can see I have choose clear all send button, reboot entry in power menu, or disable volume and just beep, or center clock in status bar. There are a bunch of options you can choose as per your requirement. Then the main function in this category is you can save your or you can back up your settings which are you done. So that's a cool feature. I like this feature very much. And you can restore it afterwards whenever you restoring your ROM. Now the next thing I want to show you is the battery life. The battery life on this ROM is pretty good. I have got around the 4 hours and 20 minutes screen on time on this ROM. Right now I can't show the battery life, as you can see it is charged 41% and you can see the SOT is 2 hours and 41 minutes. That's pretty cool and I am running the stock kernel which come with this ROM. So the battery life is pretty cool. So I will give this ROM a thumbs up. You can try this ROM and thank you for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos on custom ROM for next